and some prison infirmaries in the country lack medical equipment for even first aid. Authorities say they are compelled to refer simple ailments like headaches to nearest health centers. Peter Kwadato reports paramedics use bare hands in the absence of thermometers to determine the temperature of inmates. Infirmaries ensure first aid treatment in work environments. This is even more important in prison establishments considering the nature and conditions under which inmates live. Ironically, almost all facilities in Ghana's prisons are extremely small and ill-equipped. Again, inadequate supply of medical logistics has often left prisons in complex situations. A few weeks ago, the Ghana Prison Service went public with challenges in healthcare delivery, citing inadequate drugs and logistics. The situation at the Akuse local prison is pathetic. Cubicles are so small that patients are not admitted inside. That is our, the, the utmost challenge that we have here. And we'll be very grateful if maybe you can appeal to the public to help us out. More serious is the shortage of first aid drugs. Even common headaches are referred to nearby health centers. And you know now they say if you don't test, don't treat, in the case of malaria. But we don't have the kit that we use in testing them before treating, so we still adapt the old system. When they come to give the complaint, you just imagine it and then you treat. Another challenge has to do with basic medical equipment. Not even a thermometer is available. She will have to use their hand to feel and we are only grateful to the way the Akuse Government Hospital is always prepared to you know, help us. If not, it would have been very serious. And uh, we wish something could be done about it. And also our staff strength here is very limited. So certain time she makes the referral and we don't have officers to do the escorting to the hospital. And all these are a, a, a problem for us. Again, only one officer is in charge here. And so her absence means a complete shutdown. The Furfuri prison camp has also been shut down because the officer in charge was not at post. However, the Kofuridia prison has a relatively better facility, yet lacks medication and equipment. Officials called for support from the public since government's effort is inadequate. 